Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Paulio Jr., and welcome once again to the Inner Circle Podcast, episode 17. You will see that there are three of us once again. So, my usual co host, DJ Zinfo, Chris, <clears throat> going on? What's happening, guys? What's happening, Paul, Andrew? Welcome again, number 17. We're uh, almost at 100. So, yeah. 100's yeah, coming up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 100 mean, comes before 50, you know. So Yeah, you you'll definitely be surprised. And uh Andrew, what is going on, man? Not that much, just glad to be here again. Oh, cool. We're happy to have you back. Yeah. So, thank, we, thank you, Andrew. Yeah, we so we realized um so obviously us three, all three of us are uh, you know, first cousins and we realized when we had Andrew on the last episode that we had a little bit more uh, wiggle room on uh, what we could uh, work on. So, you know, three heads are better than two, essentially. That's right. And so Andrew is welcome anytime. And six eyes are better than one. Yeah. It was six eyes are better than four. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, there you go. <laughs> But yeah. so this is actually, I feel like this is going to be a very interesting podcast because we might, the topics are going to change, um, you know, they're going to go from unique places to weird places, to dark places, to funny places. So I hope everyone is ready <laughs> for this. Um, and before we start, um, you know, I, I apologize in advance. I'm on the road, so I am using a different microphone. So I apologize if it does sound. Um, Apology accepted. Yeah, if it has inferior quality, and please um, excuse any <clears throat> any background noise on me. It's Five Hail Marys to our fathers. <laughs> Twenty push-ups. Yeah. yeah. So the first thing that I wanted to get into. So, seventeen episodes in. And now we've just had our second um, copyright claim. <laughs> now, go figure. So we were able to beat the first one from Netflix. And I'm going to pull this up really quick. Um, so this is, this is an email that we received from, uh, from YouTube. And this was the last podcast that we did. Basically saying, um, essentially, we used the clip from Chi Chi Chang, and so the owner claimed by WMG. Um, well, the, well, this says first gear, second gear. Yeah, copyrighted content, first gear, second gear. I don't know if that's like a part of what, like that. You know, like how shows have arcs. Yeah, so that, that might be like the arc of that of that movie. You know, like uh, okay, this okay. was first gear, second gear, you know, the movie and so forth. So, yeah, you know, we've, we've appealed this, but we're, we're realizing, you know, um, and this isn't this isn't unique to us, but you have to stay on top of this stuff because if, right. you're, if you're monetized, you are going, you're going to get. Um, well, you won't I, make as much money as you could. No, no, they'll, they'll, they'll take your entire video, which is okay, right. very, yeah. very un unfortunate. So. But yeah, so you know we, so we we uh, we appealed it. We're hoping that they accept that it is actually 100% fair use, meaning that we are either reacting or commenting uh, throughout the clip, uh, throughout any clips that we are showing. So right, this, uh, this BS needs to really stop on YouTube because it's getting, and all the stuff we're talking about is. Fair use. We're just showing people, talking to people, what we see on our daily lives, and we want to share with other people. You know, that's yeah. Really well, they is. they don't. I mean, YouTube and the companies don't give a crap about like what we're attempting to do. It's yeah. is it violating um, community guidelines, policies? It, yeah, all that fun <laughs> stuff. So, uh, yes, yeah, so you got to you got to be really careful and and on the ball with this stuff, man. So there's people who work for like YouTube channels where that's their only job. Their only job is to make sure that, okay, we are 100% good and are not yeah. going to, why is your arm out like that? <laughs> I'm just resting it on my chair. Uh, 
Uh, okay, because you just you looks never like seen me do that. I'm usually resting nah, my arm on my nah, chair. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> okay. It just looked like it just looked it just looked looked like you're holding your arms out in the one eighty. <laughs> uh, <Yeah. laughs> okay. Okay, so what felt like forever was actually only a second for <laughs> for, <laughs> for anybody else, uh, for anybody listening. <laughs> so anyway. Whatever the hell we were talking about a second ago in the video, <laughs> we were talking about the cop the copyright claims and so forth. Um, I just wanted to briefly touch a, touch on something. I actually put up a power washer uh, for sale on Craigslist today. Yeah, and dude, <laughs> like it's funny how it's always like buyer beware, you know, right. of scammers. Dude, it is also just as bad for anybody selling stuff on. Craigslist it is seller beware too. So what they do uh, is so you, whatever you you post something on Craigslist, you say you're selling this, and then um, you'll get text messages from the people from whoever it is, and they'll say, "Oh, I'm, I'm interested in I'm interested in the power washer." Yeah. Um, they're like, but you know, and then they'll say, "But there's so many scams on here." So um, if you can you I'm going to send you this link. Can you click on this link and then verify this code? So I make no. so, so I know that <laughs> so I know that you're a human. And it's like yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Like you could just call me, but <laughs> yeah, but I got it from multiple people. <laughs> it wasn't just like it was literally like five minutes after I put it up. Like just all these text messages started coming in saying yeah, like scam saying please please verify this, you know, please, you know, please verify and make sure you're, we want to, I want to know that you're a human, you know, Jesus. So, scam. It's so crazy, dude. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. People are not for these scams. I know it's so insane, but, um, okay. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to just forewarn people of that. I think, yeah. I mean, Craigslist is so, is so, oh my God, it's so littered with crap anymore. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's not, it's not reliable. That's why it's always better to use like eBay or something like that. Or what's that one? Um, it's called let go. Yeah. Let go? Yeah. Let go. Yeah. Or let... there's another one. I actually have it on my phone. I forget what it's called. Uh, so... I don't remember. It's something like that. It might be the let go. I can't remember. Yeah. Well, they changed it. It used to be, they used to have a different name, but um, but going into our, you know, main topic, so getting out of the intro and then, so offer up, uh, it's called offer up, offer up. I have it up on my phone. Offer up. Yeah. Offer up. Gotcha. Pretty cool. I've used it before. Nice. <clears throat> nice. Or, um, or even the Facebook marketplace too. Yeah. That's cool. It is, so. it is reliable. It's really reliable. Yeah. So, um, one thing I wanted to, to show everybody here was this. Um, so this guy, uh, they call it this, this video game, uh, preservationist says finds rare prototype N64 controller and the joystick that should have been. So <clears throat> we're basically, you still have your, that controller, Andrew? Yeah, sure. I can grab, I can grab it real quick. Yeah. So <clears throat> basically what they, I mean, we, we looked over this article earlier and they were basically just showing, you know, even just the smallest of differences. Like you can see how sleek this original, um, you know, this like beta model was, you know, the prototype. Let me, yeah. let me see how big That's we pretty cool. Get. Yeah. But, and we were saying like if this guy, and they actually were considering calling it the Ultra 64 and not the N64. So, um, but yeah, so this guy has this, you know, which would be considered an extremely uh, rare item that he could probably sell the crap out of. I wonder if he, I wonder if he would actually- Say work. where he found this from? No, no, I mean, I'm saying that, like, I don't know, it doesn't say where, I think the, he the actually floor. worked on it. I think this guy actually worked on it. Oh. Uh. Or no no it's no it just says he's a retro gaming 
uh, preservationist and he managed to get his hands on early N64 controller prototype. Yeah. So, but I wonder if this would actually work on an N64. But yeah, that's yeah. interesting. That's pretty, that's, uh, that's pretty bad. They don't show like uh, the plug or anything for it? Well, it uh, has like a cartridge on the back, but it's not yeah, showing but, the plug. Yeah, yeah, that's just for like a um, game or memory. Yeah, like that's a, the, the rumble pack. Yeah, it was the rumble pack. That's yeah, make it yeah. vibrate. Yeah, <laughs> the rumble yeah. pack. That thing was it's fun. I'm, when that came out, you were like, oh, my God. A golden so cool. eye. Remember we used to play that game? We used to oh, play yeah. golden eye. It was so fun. All the time. That was yeah. played uh, Super Smash Brothers, which is really cool nowadays on the Nintendo Switch. And I was telling Paul, Andrew, they have this um, actual place that you can go to. I think it's out in Hatfield, PA, um, where you can fight – for well, you can win money by competing with other people in a tournament, Super Smash Brothers tournament they have. So, yeah, there's a lot of like uh, local tournaments that yeah. are all well, around the country, even well, the world. Andrew, you were saying that there was a guy who's been undefeated so far um, in Super Smash. Actually, I don't know if he's undefeated or not, but um, he, I think he's on a streak. Well, he was until like a couple of days ago where he actually just was defeated. Okay. Um, but his name's MK Leo and he like, yeah, I just yeah. defeated him last night. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that was, that was, that was you. <laughs> that was you. Yeah. That was me, right. <laughs> CJ's oh, wow. info defeated him. Good job. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's see. Okay. So real quick, so we can keep this image in our minds. So this is what the, um, you know, what the prototype looked like. Now, let's see. I'm going to stop my share. Now, Andrew, pull up your uh, your controller. All right. So, this is what okay. the original the looks like. Okay. Yeah. So, it yeah. looks somewhat similar. Just there's no colors on the other one, really. Turn yeah. it around, Andrew. It looks the same almost. I feel yeah. like the bag is the pretty bag. much the same. Yeah. The only well, the, difference really is um, the center. Yeah. This has uh, ridges in it to make yeah. it feel better to like know where it's angled, right? Right. But right, right. that other one is uh, more circular to make it smoother. Okay. So. Hmm. Yeah. If that guy sold, I'm sure like some uh, some retro, uh, you know, some retro gamer who collects stuff would, you know, pay like fifty thousand dollars for a freaking controller. Yeah. So definitely uh, a lot. Not yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, not, <laughs> not, yeah, not me either. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I, I don't even know how people like get into that. Like it's just yeah. like it's just like boarding. It's just you know? an object. Why would you leave something on the I mean, shelf? Like and that's my seventy thousand dollar controller that I bought from uh whatever. <laughs> Six, yeah. Surfer dude sixty nine on eBay. Right. <laughs> but uh, then we also, I think you have the links, Chris, but we also have some games coming out. And this is primarily for the Nintendo Switch. Right. We had a, uh, so. Yeah, pull that up for you guys real quick here. Uh, just put in my links here. One second. Yeah, it's Nintendo uh, Switch, it's Zelda, and Zelda Link's Awakening, and then Zelda, um, Breath, Breath, Breath of Wild, which is already out, but it's a second one that's coming out. So let me share the screen. Okay, so the Breath of the Wild. Well, no. So Zelda Link's Awakening came out last week. Yeah. So it has a 4.8 rating here on GameStop.com. Uh, there's Zelda. Looks pretty cool. Um, you can play a little little clip of it. Yeah, copyright, copyright. No, <laughs> share, fair use, fair use, fair <laughs> use, all, all fair use. So there's, uh, I don't know, some girl doing CPR on Zelda right now. Watch. So, <laughs> oh wow, the animation choice that they went with is interesting. It's never been yeah. seen before, I don't think, in any Zelda game. So everybody's sleeping, they wake up, and now they're in the garden. A lobster just pooped something out of his mouth. It looks amazing. It does. It, it yeah, looks it absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah the art style really, is definitely really the graphics good. are really incredible. Yeah. He's fishing, and What's now cool he's got a bow and arrow. Is um, they also incorporated some a lot of like Mario, um, 
like enemies into it, like the chain chomps in it, Goombas are in it, all, oh, and wow. all, all these enemies, and um, it's just like that's never been done before in any Zelda game before. Yeah, it does look like a really cool game. Zelda's Link Awakening. There's the, uh, there's the Yoshi okay. egg. <laughs> Yoshi oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that was that game. Then it's um, this is a little video of a uh, sequel to Legend of Zelda Breath of Wild. But I don't know if this is the second one, Andrew, or this is the first. Yeah, this is sequel. This is, so this, yeah, is sequel. Okay. this would be the second one coming out. We don't know when the date is, right, Andrew? Yeah, they just announced that it was in development. So it could be expected next year or the year after. Okay. Yeah, it just seems like a circle of hieroglyphics uh, spell or something. It almost looks like an anime to me. Yeah, to, yeah, know. definitely to a certain degree. Yeah. That does. Yeah. That, Zelda's that's holding a torch hard. in some kind of cave, I think. Uh, yeah, so. yeah, that's actually um. I don't know if I'm getting into like spoilers here or anything, but that's rumored to be Ganondorf. If you know who that is, Chris. Gandalf um, or <laughs> yeah. Gandalf? You shall pass. Yeah, it's, uh, it's supposed to be, like a pretty big deal. So, so Breath uh, of the Wild came out in 2017. Okay. Let's see what these comments say. Uh, open your eyes. I thought you finished him off. Uh, so what, he killed this guy, but now he's back again, sounds like? Yeah, basically. Okay. Is there uh, 2019 is? Ganon, but I lived. Is this sounds like it might come out this year. Hmm. Maybe. Well, I mean, that's when they released the trailer, so. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we could find a release date on that, though. Breath of Wild. We'll just say two. See if that comes up when I type it in. Uh, two release date. Uh, okay, see. looking for the actual release date. March. Uh, that's the first one though. That's, yeah. Said two. It'd say that one. Two. So, uh, what were you saying, Andrew? There's a game. Is Death Stranding? So yeah, Death Stranding is another <laughs> game that's um supposed to be pretty hyped up at the moment. Uh, has been for the past year or so. Okay. Um. It's being developed, head developed by Hideo Kojima, who is the designer for um, the Snake series. Uh, if you know who that is, he's from. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, isn't he in uh, Super Smash? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, his name's Snake, but oh my God, I can't remember. Looks pretty uh, cool. The series name. So it's Metal, not Metal, Metal, yeah. Metal Gear? Metal Gear. Yeah. Metal Gear Sorry. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Explore the world, the death, um, stranding. And that's obviously like a really big series, and he was like really praised for that. Um, but Death Stranding, based on the trailers and everything, looks really like weird and mysterious, uh -huh. and no one really knows what to expect. Um, and this is <clears> the <throat> first standalone um, game. Now, <clears throat> now he created his own company. So, so I, I got a release date here is November 8th, 2019. Yeah. For Death Stranding. Out. Now this is only on PlayStation Four. Is it also going to be on Xbox? Um, I think it's just PS Four. Yeah, for PS Four, so it's just a PS Four game. Yep. What like <clears throat> like what games are specific to that are known to be specific for PlayStation? Like you know, like Xbox, it's like you just have Halo. You know, <laughs> and Nintendo, like you just have uh, Mario and that kind of stuff. There's a lot, like, man. Like, there's Last I'm, of Us. I know Last of Us, but they've only had one. They're making the second one. Yeah, they're making the second one. Um, there's God of War, Spider-Man. Um, uh, um, but Spider-Man's been or, on different platforms before. I think it just really depends on the game itself. I don't know why certain games, they want to make it exclusive for that console. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason, but... Certain games, they just want to say this is only going to be for this console, you know. Well, yeah. I mean, um, the, the, the Halo enter my version. birthday. Well, they just uh, oh, Uncharted. Uh, don't do it. Lie, lie, lie. Uh, lie, <laughs> lie, 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 lie. <laughs> Uncharted is a very popular um, PlayStation exclusive series. Let's say I was born in nineteen. Let's say eighteen hundred. Let's see if they take that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, nope. I was born in 1902. Uh, okay, 1902. Oh, wow. I was born in 1902. Yeah. Accepted it. 
Nice. So let's see now. Uh, inappropriate for children, but we're doing fair use right now. Eight minutes long. Uh, so you know, what, what is that? Yeah, we have to skip through. Hey, uh, uh, okay. So, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Anyone this is that's, definitely anyone that's listening. Uh oh. Uh no. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> so anyone that's listening, we're playing the. There's a trailer for Death Stranding on the PS4, and so. Kind of looks like Halo in a way, but more. It almost looks like a Minecraft now. Minecraft. Well, is this, is this like the. Now it looks like an Assassin's Creed. Oh, you talk, yeah, me, yeah, you're just talking about like the actual. Yeah, I'm just kind of yeah. relating to what I'm, what I played before and what I see here. It's, yeah. it's, it's very similar to um, the Metal Gear series. So, so it's like an open world kind of sandbox theme, um, but storyline driven game. So yeah, it's pretty um, well. It looks really strange. The graphics look really good though. It seems like amazing. it has a lot of elements to it. You can play some of the sound, Chris. Yeah. No, the sound is on. Okay, I just... Yeah. It was weird. It's like I can't hear it or... or it's, oh, really? Or, or it's like I'm at a concert. Yeah. <laughs> this looks pretty cool. There are like zombies behind him. You see that? Uh, like ghost or skeleton soldier dudes. So like there's a zombie version maybe or that's part of the game. I don't know. Oh, yeah. They're definitely dead. They're definitely awesome. dead. Except him. He's not dead. Except for the main guy. That's Covering branding. It. Bring it yeah. More suffering. That's pretty cool. November 8th, 2019. Don't act surprised. Okay. 19. Nice. Do it again. So. Can't reconnect. Oh, I yeah. Just, looks very really scary in a way. That's what we need. Well, it looks, it looks intense. It really does. And here we go with this uh, guy see, and this baby again. Yeah. That that guy is a is a um, is a popular actor. Oh yeah. Um, I can't I can't remember his freaking name. But yeah, they have a few um no! actors in here. It's a baby. Hito Kyojim, Kojim Productions. Interesting. Okay. okay. Well, that was cool. I just can't see myself buying a different um, anything else other than. Um, you know, uh, an Xbox for whatever reason. Even yeah. though, I, I mean, um, when Andrew and I play, uh, you know, Nintendo Switch, we're, we're only playing one game. <laughs> well, when Andrew, Andrew and I was just talking when you were, I think it was when you left or whenever, uh, Andrew thinks you said you might be going with the PS5 now? Yeah. This time around? Like, really? the Xbox One was just like, it failed me so many times basically um it didn't it barely had any good games that like the ps4 didn't have um i don't like any games actually that i can think of um <clears throat> and playstation just has all the exclusives and yeah. xbox only has halo like that's literally it and the past two halo games just haven't been good so do you like do you like when a system has its own exclusive game is that what you like about ps playstation I mean, I'd prefer if like every cons or every <clears throat> yeah. platform had that had those games, but yeah. No, know. I'm just trying to get to more of the reason why you're choosing. I don't. I'm not upset by it, but I'm just no, wondering yeah. what what would make you want to go more with PlayStation over Xbox. Yeah, definitely just those games. So certain games that you've played are more enjoyable than what Xbox has. Yeah, definitely, without a doubt. Like last year, um, the game of the year was God of War. Okay. <clears throat> the new one they came out with, and it was just like it's literally a masterpiece. Like it was so good. Definitely one of the best games I've ever played. And oh, I PlayStation. Don't, like, that's yeah. just that's just PlayStation, right? That's it. Yep. Just PS4. Okay. Yep. Because okay. I always wonder, like, what people, what's the reasoning why we choose like a certain console? Like, I've had both. I've had PlayStation and I had Xbox, mm -hmm. and um. I don't know. It's not like, I guess it's more like a money thing. It's like you choose one and then you just kind of stick with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you get aliens in the background. Yep. But, well, you know. The only reason I went with uh, Xbox One was because um, Danny was going to get it, actually. <laughs> so yeah. That's literally the only reason. Just to play with somebody um, Now else. Danny's <laughs> becoming an astronaut, so he doesn't have time for video yeah. games. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He'll be playing Xbox or PlayStation on the moon. 
Yeah. yeah. So. The X- Xbox, whatever. The Xbox Two or the uh, Xbox yeah. Moon, Scarlet or whatever it is. Scarlet Fever. Yeah. Um, exactly. So. I've actually like flip flop though. Um, like I remember asking my mom and dad for a PS2. Alex and I did. My brother. Yeah. Um, and for Christmas, and they got it for us. And then we uh, got the 360, um, nice. and the PS3, and then the Xbox One, and now I'm going back to PS5. So. Yeah, I've had both, and I don't know what what it is, but I I've enjoyed the Xbox. I've just gotten used to Xbox. I think it's what it is. No, the controller, same, everything. Same. Yeah, the 360 same, was just so good, you know. Yeah, I'm really curious to see. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what this newer Xbox is going to be like, you know. Um, cause I, as far as the graphics, I feel like they both have good graphics, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I think, yeah, they're really similar. Um, I think the PS4 just beats it by like a little bit, but it's not like a huge difference, you know? The okay. Xbox still has like really good graphics too. So. Yeah, graphics a- nowadays are just crazy, you know? Yeah. Like, it's insane. Well, and you have, well, I mean, even though the consoles do, like you can still have like the the PC is always going to have the best graphics. Yeah. <laughs> unless you unless there's unless down the line you're able to mod your console like you can your PC. Like the PC there's always going to be this distinct feature because you can keep upgrading the monitors, you can keep upgrading your video cards and you know they'll they'll give you that capability to to make it look a lot better. I think Paul and I had this up on one podcast. I could be wrong, but here's a uh, comparison with the new Xbox Scarlet or whatever, five or four. And is it four or five for Xbox? Like how many? This would be the 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 fourth. There was Xbox. This is Xbox. This would be the fourth. Fourth, yeah. yeah. Four. So Xbox number four and PS five. So here's a comparison. All right. Uh, So I mean, I don't even understand this terminology, but. You know, the so, CPU is an AMD with Zen 2 with Nav technology for Xbox, and then PS5 is 8-core AMD Ryzen. Okay, so it, it doesn't mean anything unless you give us specs. Right. Yeah. So this doesn't mean, this doesn't mean jack shit to us. Yeah. It's like... I mean, these just, are the specs, though. So no, no, no. I, no. I mean, I like, know. I mean, I mean numbers, not just... Yeah. Like, you can't just the say... The numbers, yeah. The names like, mean nothing. It's like, you, you all you did was tell me um i bought a toyota <laughs> i mean like, there's and i guess that's the thing is there's no numbers right now i mean here's something uh ps5 the cpu will use 7 nm zen 2 micro architecture okay i have no idea what that means so uh 4k resolution uh for ps5 that's what i'm saying and xbox oh, is going to 8k 8k resolution Look. Wow. Cons- wow. Wow. PS- okay, so PS5 will also support 8K resolution. Jeez. Where did you see that? I actually don't even see that. You're right by the 4K. Look under right below it to the left. Oh, okay. Support yeah. 8K. And that- then the uh, Xbox, what are they saying? 12 gigs of GDDR5 RAM. Jesus. Oh, that was the Xbox One X. That's okay. not the newest one. And that's Scarlet- quite amazing. Scarlet will use GDDR6 SD RAM and 8K with 120 frames per second. Holy crap. So. Holy crap, dude. Like the stuff that, oh my, like you need, you need a 4K TV or an 8K TV to like to fully experience this. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. You never, yeah. I mean, Definitely to spend more money and whatnot. And that's another reason, you know, with this whole buying new consoles and stuff, uh, you know, having I, to spend more money. I'm curious as to now, uh, I'm guessing that they're still just using, um, you know, HDMI cords. Yeah, uh, I think so. I don't so. see why they, well, uh, they might get away with it, but it, the direct line is always better. So. Yeah, no, I'm saying like there's going to be a point down the line where an HDMI can't support just like how they had to change like, uh, you know, like old like v- VGA adapters, you know, for video <laughs> because, you know, you're not supporting all that data that's coming through uh, yeah. HDMI through a VGA cable. So, oh, the backward compatibility uh, 
Can you play your old game? Sony has announced PS5 will have backwards oh, compatibility great. with PS4 titles. Yeah. Um, Just PS4, though. And, I mean, yeah. that's still good, though. Like, no, no, no. I don't think any console has ever done that where it can play two consoles back. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it just said one, PS4. Yeah. So, like, it'll play PS5, obviously, and then PS4, but that's it. Microsoft was less clear about the backwards capability, uh, but not 100% sure that next-gen Xbox it could be, I don't know. So we'll have to see when it gets closer to the date. They're both coming out the end of next year, most likely. Yeah. So, uh, holiday of 2020. Oh, so, quick, quick, uh, quick sidebar. I just saw a picture of the iPhone. And um, uh, what you call my girlfriend got the... Uh, she she got the new iPhone, dude. It is the pictures on it are insane. Wow, yeah. insane! Yeah, that's like, awesome. Like you could you never think that they're going to get back. Like you're like, oh, this is there's no way it can be better, right? You know, and like looking at these, it's like the person is like right next to you, except you're holding them in your hand. But yeah. it's absolutely yeah, three it's cameras un- is nuts. It's un- like the whole like uh, focus and everything right it's amazing it's, yeah it's just it's beyond you have to see it to believe it for real right so like, <laughs> not, nothing we have even compares to that like you can film movie like like when you record something it looks like the quality of a feature film yeah that's why doing the it's youtube insane. it'd be even easier with the phone you know the oh, cameras. Yeah. yeah yeah no question i do a lot of that with my phone and i have an iphone x and yeah. uh I don't know if you told her, but did you tell her she can go in the settings and camera and change the, you can change the resolution uh, as far uh, as yeah, the dude, she yeah she goes through all that like she yeah yeah when she like when I get a new phone I just like look at the stuff that the old one had and then I'll just come across <laughs> random stuff you know I don't get like sucked into my devices like that right but because <laughs> I can take it all the way up to 4K at 60 frames per second so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, like almost 100 percent sure it definitely goes past that. Yeah, so that's it's, awesome. It's unbelievable. That's but if we want to uh, finish off the uh, our, our little technology section before we go into um, <laughs> yeah, before, yeah. before we start going down our weird rabbit hole of other topics, <laughs> All right. uh, you had uh, so you were you were showing a bit uh, showing us a video earlier of uh, Spot. Yeah, Spot. Um, I'm just going to show you this real quick. This is called Parkour. Uh, we were talking about this as far as this military robot, but this is basically what Spot is doing in a different sense in a way. People are uh, doing parkour here in this video. Now, um, these guys jump in doing flips and stuff in this channel. Now we were just like Andrew and I were just really surprised that you haven't really like heard of this. Like you may. Yeah, I mean, I I know about it, but it's not something we do in the military. I'm not doing flips and stuff. I don't do this stuff, but I do obstacle courses in the military in the Marines. We've done it. Yeah, no, they they whatever definition you read about the military thing is is yeah. off, is way off from what yeah, it actually yeah. what it ac- actually is. It's more like you know, like almost like individual street performers, you know, yeah. doing it. Yeah. So. so I just want to show that and then get over to here with this uh, robot dog, uh, Boston Dynamics. It's called Spot. It's now available for certain customers and he can basically do parkour in a way. Like he can, mm-hmm. this is, you know, I'm going to play this video here. He can jump, he can walk, stand. Um, that's gonna be yeah, fair, uh, use, uh, fair use. Fair, 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 fair. Yeah. Taking have off a, that. Have a warning. So, time. Take off the sound on there. That anyway. But it's you fine, see, yeah. see him uh, dancing around and stuff. He's twerking to the song. He's twerking. He's twerking. So uh, yeah, anybody listening, this is a robotic dog that is now available to select customers. <laughs> that is twerking. And yeah, he's opening a door oh, right now. <laughs> That's pretty insane. That is like some futuristic. Uh, I mean, this is like a little child, like at height level. There's another one just went by. This dude. It this looks is, like a goose head. Oh, there's this uh, big robot person, humanoid yeah. robot, doing 
doing parkour. Just mentioned it. Mm -hmm. In your Wait. house, you're gonna have this in your house. Is that what we're gonna do now? <laughs> so I hope this is. I hope this never we really becomes need this? a reality. Do we really need that? I hope this never becomes a reality. Ten pound Dude. box. We we need a robot to to lift the ten pound box. Dude, oh my god, this is sickening. This is sickening. Like I I, I pray that this that my, like, my only, stays uh, here. Is the head stays here. My concern with this really is just it taking over the world as far as jobs and and I know this is going to be great for companies to help, but the fact that it's going to robots are going to be. You know, it's going to be everywhere, dude. This is going to be everywhere. I can see it happening. We're going to lose jobs and we're going to, it's going to be beneficial for certain things, but not beneficial for a lot of, um, you know, as far as jobs go. Well, Losing I mean, jobs. there's give and take, like obviously yeah. it'll create more, it can create jobs by like, like engineers, like building them and like creating new ones and stuff. Yeah. But I think. Yeah, I mean, it it all depends. Like, like are the jobs that they will take are they really like beneficial for us? Like, right. I don't know. They the are they are jobs and that helps people, but yeah, you know. Um, and then definitely. definitely the last thing is just the military. Um, this is a guy uh, with the, it's called Super Soldier exoskeleton suits. So um, is paving the way for a new so generation of this guy's soldiers. wearing this suit here, and it's helping him crawl on the ground easier or somehow. They're designed to be worn over a pair of pants. This is like some Call of Duty stuff right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in a way. That's what this is. Yeah. Technology is Basically, it saves your joints and whatnot. You know, if we had this stuff a long time ago, people would be in so much pain and joint pain and whatnot. Abilities of some of the fittest highest performing individuals in the world. I mean, it is pretty, yeah, so it's, anyone that's listening, it's just, um, and advanced radios are critical. essentially, uh, whatever um, kind of material that is, is wrapped around their legs and then around their waist, and, and it's helping them, like, propel forward, you know, to move forward, to crawl, to jump, without having to exert um, as much energy as they normally would. So, yeah, exactly. You know, you know what I compare it to? You know, like those bikes that have a motor in it. So, so like you, like you ride the bike normally, but yeah. then when you need help, like the it's motor, the motor, will, the motor will kick in to go uphill. Right. So you're not like so. It's like yeah, a torque. It. The torque helps you to get up the hill. So it's kind of like a bike. Yeah, mountain bike in a way. And yeah. it's here. The last thing is Russia and and the U.S. are in a military exoskeleton race. Mm. So. Uh, look at ah. the Iron Man dreams, power star realities of dueling technology programs. Dude, so need, uh, there's, no, there's a lot. Slow down. There's we a lot involved with all this stuff, but it's really getting insane what the militaries are doing out there to compete with each other. So yeah, uh, there's a device that's hooked up and then it's wrapped around your legs, like you said, Paul. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, uh, and that's about all I got for this. Um, you know, here uh, Lockheed Martin has it on their website, so this is pretty serious. Um, this is already in effect, like as yeah. of right now. Yeah, if Lockheed, uh, Lockheed Market, if Lockheed Martin is working on it, then yeah, you know, it's uh, <laughs> it's called it's called uh, Onyx. It's designed to pr provide strength and endurance to soldiers working, first responders, so not just the military. Enhances yeah. strength and endurance, uh, heavy loads, handling of weapons, me metabolic cost of transport. Uh, when you're fatigued, uh, traverse stairs, inclines, what you were saying with the bike kind of yeah. reduce stress <clears throat> on your leg muscles and orthopedic alignment to help. So it's pretty intense. Huh. Yeah, I mean, like some a lot of stuff is, uh, you know, these are all definitely neat ideas and so forth. Uh, but uh, we're like, we're, we are moving way too fast, in my opinion, as far as uh, just like the, the technology in general. Yeah. Like, it's nuts, dude. It's nuts. Like just even, I can't keep yeah. up. I mean, it's just, there's so much out there now, you know? Yeah. I mean, even just like the, even the 20th century, <clears throat> you know, we, during the 1900s, we had you know, this huge industrial boom and a, a crap load of inventions. Yeah. It's like you go so, from one year, you might have one or two, three things a year, like in the long time ago, like back then. And now it's almost like, 
every week they're coming out with something new. And yeah, you tell somebody yeah. who's like sixty years old, seven years old, they're like, huh? What? Yeah, Ooh. yeah. What nothing, nothing stands, That's nothing stands skeletons. out for long. Nothing stands out for long anymore. Right. So everything's like an upgrade of an upgrade. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> but <clears throat> so I wanted to share this uh, this article um, that we were talking about earlier. Um, you know, not to not to put a a damper on the podcast whatsoever. Uh, it was just, you know, it was interesting and it was sad uh, at the same time. So I, w- I was perusing this article earlier, and it says the, the title of it is "U.S. Military Suicides uh, Surge uh, to Record High Among Active Duty Troops." So and. It's some privacy thing, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I'm kind of crazy shit here. So, I may have... <laughs> uh, what's going on behind me? I'm about to uh, pull it's out... A cat, a, cat attacking you? I'm about to... Yeah, by a, a paintball, paintball gun. Paul's um, getting attacked by yeah. a cat right now, whoever's <laughs> listening. No, there's this one... Okay, there's a cat here, right? And he's basically... He, he's a... He's a Big <laughs> retard. Actually, he's a re- but he's humongous. So he's let's like, see, let's see him. He's Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> he's Tux, come here. He, he's come here, Arnold. Come. He's Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> without without a brain in his head. And yeah. all he, and all he does is he messes with the other cats. That's it. Uh, he's a, yep. so he's a bully. He's a bully. Yeah, he's a pain in the ass. So he just uh, um, pick on someone your own size, Gus. <laughs> dude, he just. <laughs> Like a cat, will, like one of the cats will just be like sleeping, and they'll just come up and smack it on the head, and then nice. it'll start, <laughs> then it'll start chasing them and so forth. They're That's like, just great. Yeah, he's he's a good guy. Yeah, good he's guy. a good guy, right? Yeah, <laughs> he's a good fella. Asshole. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> but you know, uh, I'm not. We're not. I'm not going to harp on this, and you know, I would say like, you know, Chris, obviously, you were in the Marines. And you know it's unfortunate that. Um, yeah, that's horrible. Look uh, at that. The rate of suicide was twenty four point eight for one hundred thousand in two thousand eighteen, and then, well, so it's gone up drastically every year. Yeah. So eighteen point five, then it went to twenty one point nine, twenty four point eight. So this is so those numbers are out of one hundred thousand troops. So it's saying. Right. You know, uh, five years ago, the suicide rate among troops was 18.5 uh, per 100,000 service members. Um, so now what was now the what was the latest figure here this year for the first time? OK. <clears throat> the rate of so basically at least six percent. Army suicides. So it's saying essentially almost every single branch, <clears throat> it's, you know, the suicide uh, is going up. And yeah, Army, Navy, Marines. And they see yeah, the, the Air Force. Force. The, the only, only well, the, yeah, the only, it's just saying uh, the only exception is the Air Force uh, showing a decrease. That's the only one. But essentially every, every single one. I mean, dude, we're, we're like, we're 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 the country that's at war with every with, with everybody. Yeah. Or like we're you know, we're stationed we're stationed everywhere. I don't even know how many countries we're stationed we're in. We're in a lot, man. We really are. And I feel like we need to stop being the nine one one of the world. You know, we can't fix everybody's problems. You know, if people need us to be there, then so be it. But to be in these countries for a long, long time, I think are just it's too much. It's too yeah. much, well, too taxing on our our money, the 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 uh, the lives, the the causing the suicides and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, it's like, and, and what what's been happening? This has been going on forever now, but like they're uh, just going over to other countries, you know, and a lot of times, you know, not asking permission, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, just and, and and setting up base, and, occupying in a way. Yeah, I mean, could you could you imagine? If another country came into the U.S. and just like went to wherever, like North Carolina, and was like, "Hey, we're setting up base here, guys." 
Yeah, we wouldn't okay. accept that. We wouldn't <laughs> accept that at all. They'd, they'd Some be done. foreign force yeah. was telling us how to live our life. You know, they'd, they'd be done by before they even got like <laughs> like sixty miles within the coast. Yeah. It's just you know, too much. The coastline. Man. So, but you um, know, if we became more of a defensive country and and not so much of an aggressive, uh, have to deal with everyone's problems. You know, I think it would be a, a lot better. Yeah, yeah, you're saying, yeah, you're saying like, uh, you know, we, we police the world and that's unfortunate because that doesn't allow, um, you know, that doesn't al- allow, you know, certain countries and provinces to, um, you know, let things go on, you know, h- how they actually should go. Naturally. Yeah. yeah. So like we're like forcing, like the U.S. kind of like forces their will on people, you know, which is like they, they might, the intentions might be in the right spot i don't know but you know it just always seems like a disaster everywhere (laughs) everywhere the united states go it's just we just leaves you know like just rubble yeah and we're like all right we we had fun here see ya (laughs) you know but it's it's horrible it's not even like we're just gonna like stay there forever it's the fucking it's the forever war man yeah how long has this war been going on like 18 Uh, years now yeah, it's like, almost 20 years. I mean, it's insane. Yeah, it's nuts. No, they they say we're leaving. We're not leaving. We left Iraq, then we go back to Iraq, and it's like, you know, what's going on here? You you say we're gone, and then you come back to countries like, yeah, you know, let and these countries deal with their own problems. No, I, I totally agree. Totally yeah, agree. everyone wants us to leave. Like all our citizens want us to leave. Like get out of there. You know. Yeah, I understand that we need to know, like, be able to be uh, on par with training and whatnot, but to constantly be in one country for so many years like that is really unnecessary. Mm. Yeah, I really, I really like the uh, the non non intervention policy. Yeah, um, you know, I, I think. I think would be better. I mean, no one's asking me, but I think if there's like a a, a major problem that they need help with, it should be, Hey, we need help. Come here, do what you got to do and then leave. And that's it. Yeah. I mean, just like, I mean, I think like the last time, like we held out was like uh, world war two and like we held out for a long time. Yeah. Until uh, I think from that day on, like from right after then was where we just, we were constantly had to be involved with everything and anything. Yep. Yep. I don't know why. I don't know what it was that we had to become like the the number one. The world's you know. police. Yeah. Yeah. Nine one one of the world. Being yeah, being stationed. You know, I, it's definitely over thirty countries. It's well yeah. over thirty countries. South Korea, Germany. In. You know, we're in Africa. I know we're in Li- Liberia. All the it's, it's just nuts. Yeah, and it's unfortunate because that's. I mean, um, so for instance, and I think I was talking to Andrew about this. Uh, recently too but um uh, i was watching this this uh this japanese station and they were saying it's like basically with uh for instance japan has not been in a war since world war ii that was mm-hmm. the last war they were in so like nobody there has you know <laughs> nobody there has ptsd like that yeah like they they have other issues you know, because they over, they get overworked and so forth. But, um, you know, but they just, they don't know anything, you know, of, you know, of war. Besides. And I feel like the only reason the U.S. is doing what they're doing since after World War II for being in these countries is the fact that they want to be on par with all of the countries where as many of the mil- like bad countries or whatever they want to say, uh, terrorists out there, they want to be on par with what, they're doing and what they're, you know, is that our military is prepared for anything and everything, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So it's, yeah. I other than that, was, there's no other, I can't come up with any other reason, you know, except for, you know? Yeah. It would, it would just be nice to, I mean, and then if they, if we didn't occupy all these countries, I'm getting, <laughs> but anyway, if we didn't occupy all these countries, um, you know, we'd also see, um, you know, we might actually have a surplus, you know, <laughs> on our, right. you know, on our budget. So this huge, yeah. uh, you know, we want to have uh, this deficit of all this money we owe. It would def- it would definitely be a lot lower instead of, yeah. um, but anyway, what, you know, what, well, I had something on the Marine general uh, yeah, yeah. talking about, yeah, uh, uh, 
suicide. Um, I'll show it to you. I, I seen it on the news. It's just basically talking about, you know, anyone who's going through something, uh, we all, first of all, before I show it, we have a cousin who uh, committed suicide, which is also Andrew's brother and who's very close to us. And it was really unfortunate and we didn't expect it coming at all. And actually his birthday is going to be coming up. I think it's a Saturday. Um, but anyway, the whole thing is to speak out when you're going through something, speak out because there's people that can help you and that want to help you. And there's people that love you that you have no idea that how many people love you as a person, your friends and your family. So this is a general uh, speaking here. I'm just going to play his, his, uh, let me start over because it, Wait, now what is this? It's just a We're waiting to this talk is a to general Marine Robert there's a problem. Neller talking about suicide in a way. Okay. It's not long. It's so uh, just, yeah, just lowered it down. There you go. It's not hey, life is tough. less than a minute here. Me and Marine is tough. Nobody said this was going to be easy, but you can deal with this. It has to be okay, dealt with. This guy was a nurse. You got to understand. He's, he's a current general right now in the Marine yeah. Corps. Nation kills. He's basically reaching out, saying, "Let us help. We'll try to We're help here you for help you. Yourself. We can help you. And right. Let us help each other. If if you can't do self aid, okay, fine. Then you're there. Your buddy's there to do aid. If your buddy can't help you, then so, we can take you to a higher yeah. echelon. There's nothing wrong with it. So that's it. Yeah. Um, basically, just saying there's zero shame in admitting one struggles in life, trauma, shame, guilt, or uncertainty about the future." and asking for help. There's no shaming any of that. Um, yeah. And then as you were saying, there's an active duty suicide rates of a uh, 10 year high, a 10 year high. Yeah. So yeah, that's this crazy. general right here has led a Marine Corps rifle company and he says it's time to have a conversation about it. So he's lost a, a whole rifle company of Marines, which I was in the Marines as a rifleman, uh, infantry, a whole rifle company is about, a hundred, about a hundred or more Marines in a, in a company. Right. Right. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It'd be like 200, 200. Or so the only, the only thing that, you know, is, is unfortunate is like, yeah, like these people like this guy, you know, this general can, you know, everyone can always, you know, try to encourage people like, okay, like, you know, speak up and all this good stuff. But if, um, you know, if, if that person is in, you know, this, uh, this compromise, state then you know they're not going to be able to they're they're, they're not going to react to that video in a, in a healthy way at all right so or they're, they're just you know or they're just they will just be too numb to even reach out like they'll just look at it and just like dead eyes and just like and not do anything so yeah like ultimately it's up to um you know ultimately it's always up to the individual to try and do something but Definitely. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's still unfortunate. And if, you know, at least, at least for the military, like if they were able, you know, if we did bring a lot of people home, we would have a lot less, uh, a lot less issues with all that, all that bullshit. So, and when you got something about a lantern fly over there, or we... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how we're transitioning. <laughs> you got land well, flies. I was, yeah, I was about to. Hold on. <laughs> so fun. Nice. All right. So, yeah, so this was <laughs> – these. now, I don't know how many of these that you've seen, but they are everywhere. I don't everywhere. think I've ever even seen one. They are everywhere. Unless I've I'm seen. not looking for them, but I don't know. I mean, I've seen flies. There's plenty yeah. of flies. No, so there's <clears throat> there's these so they call them spotted lantern flies, and long story short, they are they are this extremely invasive species. Yeah. Um, that basically were, were like kind of similar to stink bugs, where they just destroy crops um, more, in, and they actually go after uh, like certain trees and so forth, but. I feel like mosquitoes are worse than lantern flies. What's the pro like? What is like the, mosquitoes are transmitting this crazy virus right now in yeah, Pennsylvania? Well, these things are destroying uh, our food source. <laughs> so, lantern flies uh, destroying the food source, mosquitoes are killing humans. Uh, which one they do we both, do? Uh, both, <laughs> you, deal, you deal with both of them. I know. 
they both got to go. No question. Yeah. So, it sucks. Or at least put down those. So, and basically what the, what they're saying is if you see, if you see one of these things, they're, they're, they're Oh, wow. Gonna, it's a praying man is eating the head off. Oh, uh, yeah. He's doing Jesus. his, he's doing his job. Nice. Wow. So, but, so we need more praying mantis out there. I'm doing my part. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's part, that? Yeah. What, what, what movie is that from? Like I'm doing my part Trump and they're all Trump. killing the bugs. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Uh, star, star, something. Starship, uh, uh, Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers, yeah. And Scroll like, down yeah. a little bit, Paul. And I want to see what that says there. And there's, and there's it says, uh, bugs. should we Im- import millions of praying mantises? Should I train my dog or cat to attack them? <laughs> you thought, so yeah. Someone asked me to build a flamethrower to destroy the lantern flies. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> hold on. How do you feel about that? <laughs> your, son, your son is not the only one. Uh, I'm trying to. Um, so well, I'm going to. Let me stop this share real quick. But basically, yeah, they they basically said um, kill them. Kill all this is of them. All you do is kill them. Kill yeah, them. Kill them. Kill them. Um, so kill the majority. If, if, you see, if you see the lanternflies, you kill them ASAP. Um, and if, There's you see, a, if you see their yeah. egg sacs, and you see their egg sacs, <laughs> destroy them. Seriously, that's what it said. It said destroy them. While the spot of lanternfly so. is quickly becoming a big nuisance. This is on the news here, Action and News, talking about the lanternfly. Hey, Christy, that point that if you see it, and you're parked Just like there, you say, sure kill it. Our windows are rolled up. This also is like a party sure for the lanternflies. We're killing them. There's one right there. Oh my gosh, dude! Look at if them. If you see them on property, yeah. keep in mind they won't harm you, but they are a nuisance. Wow. They won't harm so they won't harm you. They just harm plants and they're big, the trees dude. and whatnot. It's a big threat to the United the Stop other, this invader! Other like aliens. Also, reminding the public, as you can see, evident by this flyer, to do three things: report, report them, them, destroy them, and also destroy them and share your knowledge. knowledge. Get rid of insects, the yeah, Chris. When we were at um, Dorney, Danny and I like saw them everywhere there. Really? Yeah, all I didn't over. Even see like, them? This Am I one... invisible? To... I don't see a lander. Yeah, exactly. sorry. Yeah, yeah, they're <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Here's a. Um... Oh, I'm here. invisible to lantern flies. Mm. Here, well, this is this is actually from earlier. I'm gonna share. Cut around like some action them, like it just attack every time you see one. Like, dude, it was like it was like the stink bugs. <laughs> oh yeah, stink bugs. Yeah, who's that? Spotted. Okay, so hold you guys on. need to do your job. Are they gonna eat them? <laughs> no, they messed with them. That's so funny. <laughs> Spraying. <laughs> yep. Windex. Die. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Windex. <laughs> Windex. Oh, yeah. that, 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 he's still alive. It's just water. I just had to, I just had yeah. to. Uh, You're like giving him more energy. Yeah, yeah he's like. Yeah, yeah with doing? Windex. Yeah, no, I, I, I had to immobilize him first. Immobilize. <laughs> yep. Goodbye. And then perform the finishing move. There yep. you go. Fatality. So, so brutal. Hey. So mean, Paul. Fatality. Goodbye. <laughs> Fatality. Fatality. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell mom. Uh, guys, did he give the signal yet? How many he, times he got to stop he, with him? Did he give the signal I, to throw in a towel? I kept rewinding it. So. It's a shame that we have to kill these insects like this. Yeah. No, nah, they, they have to die. You kill they, them they immediately. Have to die. But if you see... Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Is that you're training the kids? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm training the cats. <laughs> but yeah, no, they have to go, man. They they cannot be allowed. Unfortunately. So what do they do? They just like eat eat the plants and trees? They tear through them in hordes, man. <laughs> in hordes. They're just eating so, like any plant, any tree. The so they are so they they typically go after a certain a specific tree, but they do go after crops and so forth. And further down okay. in that in that article that I had up, um, you know this one um, this one like plantation or whatever, they lost ninety uh, percent of their crops that oh, they wow. were that they were growing this whole year, and ninety percent of them out the window, just like that's from, horrible. Yeah, 
So yeah, it came in from uh, from Southeast Asia, uh, just like the stink bugs did. It came from China. So somebody just brought them over and said, "Hey, let's just let's destroy the U.S. with lantern flies." No, they probably just they probably just hitched a ride on, on a boat, man. And hey guys, it. let me go yeah. head over to the U.S. now. It's the same thing the stink bugs. The stink hitched bugs, a ride. The stink bugs hitched a ride on um. You know, on a boat, basically, uh, they, appeared, appeared in Allentown for whatever reason. They keep they appearing in thumb. Pennsylvania, so they had to ride like this. Yeah, yeah, they had to <laughs> go like this. So, and they they knew they knew the rules of the road. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, well, yeah. So if you see if you see a spotted spotted land uh, fly, make sure uh, you kill them. So, so yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> and. Um, I, I, sir. Sense, though, like, like I've only seen or like heard of these bugs and stink bugs on like the east coast. Yeah, but, yeah. Like it's Asia's literally on the other side of the world. They're laughing at us right now. They're like, ah, the ha, ha. <laughs> yeah, you take them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe they're they're you know so they're probably you know going coming from the you know the coast and you know, just getting in so far. So maybe somewhere else, you know, maybe on the West Coast, I'm sure that they've talked about certain things that have come over. There's also another uh, something similar that's destroying is um, it's a certain kind of fish. It's like a, a fish that has like a, like a teeth and everything. Like it's a crazy – well, fish have teeth. But, I mean, fish that – it's like a dog head fish or something. Like a it crawls on the ground and it like eats things. Have you guys heard of this? Yeah. No, uh, no. I have. Um, I think I heard about that uh, maybe a little bit ago, but not not recently. I forget what it's called. It's, some guy was telling me about this. Some kind of like dog head or fish or whatever the hell it's called. Mm. I know it's a beer, I think. But oh, here it is. It's a uh, fish out of the water. Is that what it's called? Let's see here. I don't know. It's like dangerous. He does the same thing, almost like a catfish where they eat. A lot of different crazy stuff, but kill these fish before they eat your dog. Oh, he's, nice. he's eating the dog, I guess. Right, so, right, right. Uh, see if I could show that to you real quick. Go ahead, uh, go ahead. Uh, kill these fish. Snakehead, snakehead, that's what it's called. Snakehead oh, fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've Invasive been, yeah. Asia, and they're taking over the U.S., and apparently they've eaten dog, eating the dog. Yeah, uh, thirty-six inches, seventeen <clears throat> pounds. Armed with a razor sharp teeth, that cut through flesh like a fork through jello. Hmm. Uh, so it's called snake snake heads. Let me see if I can put that in there. Now, when when was this article? When was that article written? Uh, I just got off of it. Snake head. Fish. You're all good there, Paul. <laughs> yeah, your your video is not. I know, showing. I know. I I had, to, I had to turn it off for a second. Okay. okay. So. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty horrible. Um, I was wrong, by the way. Supposedly, there are spotted lantern flies in California. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and they're also causing problems there too with like uh, wine crops, like grapes. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's the, that's another. I'm glad you brought that up. That was the other big thing that they are going after as well. Yeah, so, grapes. Are, they're going after vineyards. Yep. Yep. Big time. Big time. I will try to show you the fish itself, but look how big this thing is. Yeah, yeah this I've is seen... a snakehead fish, dude. Mm -hmm. Look at the teeth. Yeah, I've seen I've seen this before. Can... I've definitely seen this before. Move this over yeah, here. Uh, yeah, look. Yeah, uploaded. Yeah, April 9, thousand twelve. Oh, uh, look at that one on the left, all the way to the left. Yeah, yeah. This was... one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a dragon, dude. Holy hell! <laughs> so these things are really bad. They they come out of the water and they, apparently they can. Someone said they can walk on the ground. I don't know about that, but they're <laughs> they're dangerous. Um, a yeah, fish can walk now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm okay. Looks like Schmeagol yeah. from Lord of the Rings. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, this is like Earth rejects here. Oh yeah, look at that. Disgusting. Yum yum. Jesus. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. Is that yeah. toad? Is that toad? Is that yes, toad? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't uh, make references to stuff people don't know about. Inside joke. Inside, inside joke. joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, um, man. Okay. And so here you go for everybody. I uh, just want to make sure that you end your night 
on a good note here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What is this? <laughs> so this is actually from a, a podcast that I watch and um, I've talked about Tom Segura before, but they they did a highlight <laughs> from this guy who he this guy has Head basically <laughs> doesn't have any teeth. Um, he doesn't have a ref for twenty dollars. Yeah, you, know, you can spit it out. out. That's essentially you spit out the head, you what happened. Yeah, I, mean, I would never do that for twenty dollars. A million dollars. Yeah. yeah million. So let's see. Here. No, no. So <laughs> yeah. So basically, the guy. <laughs> he's, I don't know if he's working with him or right. what he's I doing. Can't. It's gonna be an easy. But um, go, go. There we go. So first, first they offer him like ten bucks or something like that, and then ten uh, bucks. <laughs> yeah, and he was like still kind of thinking about it, and the your guy, discretion is advice. Yeah, not really. This is no, the rat. <laughs> it's just a rat. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, it's just a rat. Yeah. The rat. The rat's been dead, so they didn't kill it or anything like that. Would that you eat a rat for twenty dollars, Absolutely not. Absolutely not, she said. Yeah. My so wife what, disagrees. What, what would be your okay? A dead rat. How much money would you do it for? It would probably have poison in it, but it would kill you. Okay. A dead rat. Okay. If it didn't. <laughs> if it had. If it didn't have poison, how much? If you could not get sick. Yeah. No, you she said not. no. Okay. She's if you not down with it. Sick, no. If you couldn't and, get sick. Okay, if you couldn't get sick no. and they offered you $500,000, you got to bite 500, the head off. 500000 No. You got to bite the head off of a dead uh, oh, the head. Head. I don't think I'd do it for any amount of money, honestly. But this, thing's, like, this thing's dried up. This thing's dried up. Oh, there you go. gosh. That's, that's like, horrible, dude. It's like beef jerky. <laughs> It's, so. That's just horrible. Yeah. <laughs> what, did he, what did he like order a dead rat from eBay or something? No, look, they, <laughs> they just they just found it. They found it at the a, a, a job site or something. Like, dude, oh, this guy's dude, probably gonna garbage. This guy's gonna get like some disease. Yeah, Is that blood on his mouth? Is that blood on his mouth? No, no, no. No, he just doesn't have like teeth or something. Yeah, you just like seeing it. So what, he does one video and now he's like famous YouTube uh, creator? No, now it's, no. It's I mean, it only has 300. He's monetized views. already. Yeah. Well, here, let me, oh, what was it, 360? Oh, I'm views? sure it has. Where's the actual YouTube uh, oh video? Oh my God, dude. Do you remember when YouTube videos, yeah. when they were like first released? There you go. Yeah. Stop at like See what's that now? It's 230 likes. All right. No, but remember it yeah, seven thousand. It just went up over seven thousand views since I refreshed it. <laughs> so what was it prior to that? Three hundred and six views. Oh wow! So yeah. it definitely went up. Yeah, but um, yeah, I think the. I mean, what they were talking about on the podcast was basically like how much, you know, um, oh, much, dude. How, you know how much would it take? It just for messed you. my stomach up. Yeah, I mean the thing, like, dude, it was like crispy. Yeah, it was like, it was, ah, stop, 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 stop. It's been dead forever. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's still gross. Yeah. Heard, so, heard, so what's heard, it yeah. about the spotted lantern fly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, we're past that. Get back to that. Uh, nope. Get back. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, mosquitoes, uh, triple E. Hey, Bear, I will show you this real quick, though, is that uh, how freaking fast these things are. Um like they are they are very evasive but here's where i was trying to get is the cat trying to get them well i locked him in there to try and get him and he got bored uh so he can't but, keep up but check this out so you yeah. see it right there yeah so there he is but dude these things are quick and they're look how big that thing is too ready look watch oh man that was <laughs> he, he got out yes. wow yeah is this where you're living right now? I mean, where you're at right now? That's where I'm staying, at. Yeah. Staying right now? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Right now. Yeah, there's no spotted lantern flies really in Philly. Yeah, look, look, of, look. At least around You don't even see it leave. No, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, he like vanished into the air. See you. Yep. He peaced out real quick. He, he went to his um, planet Kepler 252B. He, tele he teleported, man. He teleported to his planet. So, yeah. But, yeah, kill them and kill the uh, – what look like they – so the eggs look like um, – they're like putty-like sacks. Or oh, that's great. Putty-like sacks. Like, uh, yeah, so that's like that's what you want to – you see them too. 
Yeah, let me go look for right some putty like sacks. <laughs> no one's saying – no one's – trust me, no one's <laughs> saying go out and look for them. They say if you see them, kill them. I should just start, so. start making my YouTube channel videos on uh, hunting spotted and lantern flies. Yeah, man. And then so. turn them in for money, see how much money I can make. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they have a bounty on their head. I got a thousand them. of them. I got a thousand of them. They'd be like, okay, I go get us another thousand. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's but, like deer. Like there's so many, so many deer out there that they actually hunt deer to. Yeah, they have kill, to. You know? Yeah, they have to. They have Traffic to. and they're killing people. Yeah. What? Uh, well, that's that's everything that I have. That's all we got. So, Andrew, you got anything else to say over there? Nope. Pretty quiet tonight. Yep. <laughs> so. Hey, you guys got it. Cool. We got, got it we- all. Awesome. Yeah, now we got everything. No, he did. No, Andrew got more of the gaming stuff, which is good. Yeah. Um. So. No, Andrew's awesome. So. Um, Thanks, buddy. No yeah, problem, and buddy. Possibly the new co-host. I was scared. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, everything's no, getting changed. Huh? Everything's yeah, right. getting changed. Yep. Password. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Password changed. Everything changed. Hey. <laughs> Password changed. That's, that's what I've been doing this whole time. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> no, that's but um. Funny. But no, thank you everybody for watching again. As always, much appreciated. Thank you, Andrew, for coming on again. Yes, sir. Uh, always helpful with the like I said, three heads better than two, six eyes are better than four. Yeah, brother. right. So, yes, all right. Sir. So we'll be uh, in what next week? Some next time week, sometime. Yeah, we have no 18? idea. Yep, we have no idea. But yeah, next week. <laughs> so. Awesome. Um, all right guys but yeah make sure you check out the uh the, the merchandise store um teespring.com slash uh the inner circle at ah, the inner circle so and sir yeah. yeah that's about it so thank you everybody for watching i don't even know what the hell we talked about so that, <laughs> that's 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 when i know it was like a halfway decent episode so yeah yeah <laughs> nice. but all right everybody peace out later Cup scouts bye bye Peace. <laughs> See. See.